forwards. I think we are seeing a bit of a market reset in in terms of that, because I think I think we really we are looking at teams and GMs knowing that no reading more into the age curves that we that have been being brought into the analytics side of things uh, through the past few years. So I think if there there if there's a deal to be made and, and JT Miller is willing to take less than what he's looking for right now. I think the, yeah, the Canucks would be very much happy to bring him back, but, um, and if, if they're not willing to budge, then they're going to have to make a, a decision on what to do. Um, cause the Pacific division is wide open. And if you wait too long, you're going to get, you might get put into a position where, uh, the Canucks are in a, battle for a playoff spot, if not battle for where they're playing in the playoffs. And they're, you, they could get into a position where they go all in and, and potentially lose them for nothing. And I don't think that's the best move for this this organization who are trying to build a, a contender for years. And you can't – if you lose a player for nothing, that sets you back. So – um yeah i think it's it nothing really has changed there um other than just now now both sides have really vocalized that uh they're far apart and if there's a deal to be made they'll they want to make it but uh at this point where the canucks value slash can afford to pay him is much different than what jt miller is looking for and at the same time here I, you know, you look at what Johnny Gaudreau got and you look what Jonathan Huberto got. It's, if I'm JT Miller, I don't see why I can't get a similar, not maybe not exact, but I, I do see why he would be, okay, you're giving, what did Gaudreau and Huberto do that I didn't? Okay, they scored more points. That's fine. I did some other things that they didn't. Uh, I killed penalties. Johnny Gaudreau didn't. I killed penalties. Jonathan Huberto did not really. Uh, I don't have defensive efficiencies in the game that Jonathan Huberto has. has. Um, I'm versatile. Jonathan Huberto and jo- both Johnny Gaudreau don't play center. So I think he has an argument for a length for this cash and con for this life setting contract. Um, it's just, I guess that's the, the question is, is, you know, what the Canucks can do. You're right. Can the Canucks, you know, make this work and, you know, should JT Miller take a pay? I should JT Miller take us out. I mean, it's, it's, I can kind of relate where JT Miller is coming from because you're, what you're seeing from Goudreau and Huberdo. I don't know. I, I, I would think that they have to, th- these parties do need to make some sort of decision sooner rather than later. But um, I, I see where JT Miller is coming from. And for me, I think the there's going to be two deadlines here. I think there will be one just before camp because I think you want to be, if, if you can go into camp with a resolution, that's fantastic and I honestly ideal. Um, but if you're, if not, um, I'm looking at the, uh, American Thanksgiving, um, deadline there because if they're, if they can't make it, to, if they can't come to a resolution with a contract, then I think it's time. I think you, you have to get, uh, very proactive with your, the Canucks need to get very proactive and start looking at, uh, trade options to get him into a position into a and get get them back assets uh so they don't because they, they don't go into the new year and then you've got that that lingering hope of making the playoffs and you could convince yourself that you can go for it which i don't i, I don't think is the right move you have to you have to have their have an extension for jt miller in place or you have to trade them 